Under the chairmanship of President Yureri Museveni, the Third South Summit came to an end on Monday in Kampala, Uganda. It brought together high-level representatives of nearly 100 countries and the head of United Nations agencies. Held under the team, leaving no one behind, the two-day meeting is expected to bring a new dynamic to cooperation among its 134 member states in an increasingly competitive global environment. The two-day summit, which brought together leaders of the Group 77 and China, urged the United Nations Security Council to make efforts to implement its resolution to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict without delay. The leaders call for the complete dismantling and immediate cessation of all Israeli settlement activities in occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem and the occupied Syrian Golan Heights. The summit also aims to promote South-South cooperation on trade, investment, sustainable development, climate change, poverty eradication and the digital economy. The summit is the highest decision-making body of the Group 77, which was established in June 1964. Since the 1990s, China has been coordinating and cooperating with the G77 through the G-China mechanism, which is an important platform for developing countries to unite for self-strengthening and coordination in responding to challenges. Over the years, China has joined hands with other countries to promote South-South cooperation to achieve new and greater progress. This was the first time that the South Summit was held in Africa. The previous two summits were held in Havana, Cuba in 2000, and Doha, Qatar in 2005.